Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from the Driver Success Channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Just want to record this quick video. Today is October the 25th. It's Friday. I just came back from my days off. And when I came back, I found a message on the people net talking about us having to register for something like called the clearing house. I saw it and when I came in here to drop off a load, uh, I was in line and I decided to try and give it a go and see if I can do it on my phone. So I'm just making the video to let you know guys who need to do it, whether you work for JB Hunt or a different company, or if you are somebody that has a CDL and planning on, on applying to companies, big companies, I just wanted to kind of give you my understanding of what it is and just to let you know that it's not very hard to register for it. I just followed the instructions because you just go to login.gov. Uh, when you go there and create an account, they will send you an email and then you confirm and then they will send you a code to, on your phone. In this case, I was using my phone. They sent me a code to confirm and then I think it required me to use like it's called an authenticator, is it authenticator app, which I have, but uh, for some reason I forgot the password so I tried using it, it couldn't work. So I ended up using, they have different options. You could use another phone number, which I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to use my wife's phone number. I used, uh, there's another option, uh, if your government I think the other option is if you're a government uh, employee, which I'm not. The other option was uh, they give you a bunch of codes. So that's the option I used. And as soon as I used that, my account was created. So I had now to go to the Clearing House website and register there. So basically what this is, is I think a way f uh, to track your drug and alcohol use. It's a way that companies can be able to track and I think it's going to start in January 6, 2020. That's when it will start. Your employer for the time being will need to contact your previous employer to get, you know, like the, uh, the drug and al alcohol like verification that you don't, uh, you've never refused a test or that you, you, they've never caught you with uh, uh, abusing substances. But then uh, in 2023, after you have three years, when you have three years in the database, then all they will be doing is just going to that database and checking to see what your record is. Um, I know some people may be afraid of it, but if you do not use drugs or like you have no record uh, that may put you in danger of that, you shouldn't be afraid of it. It's something very simple. And I think at the end of the day, it's a way to, if you're applying to a company, I think it's a way to kind of, uh, ease up the process because all that the company will do they will just go online and see what your record is instead of you know like uh, having to fax your previous em uh, employer to wait for results i've heard of situations where like that process can take long because like if maybe they need to contact like maybe three employers right and the previous employers may take their time in replying so what this process does in my opinion, that's the way I think it is. It's kind of, it helps to uh, to make the process easy because all they do is they just go online into the database, check for your like driver's license and they see if you have any drug related problems or refusal to take a drug test. So I think it's something that kind of will be uh, to our advantage after three years of, of, of this process going. So in 2023, it will be to your advantage when you apply to another company. Uh, they don't have to wait for your previous employer to give them the results. But this is just to do with a uh, drug and alcohol. It doesn't have to do with, uh, you know, like um, other points on your... It's different from uh, the DOT. So I uh, just wanted to let you know that in case you want to register for that, it's a simple process. I was doing it on my phone while I was in, in line. And it was really uh, easy so just take maybe like what 10 minutes and fill it out if you want to because even if you don't fill it out even if you you don't uh, put your information in that um in that database still your employer i think that will put that information in there if 
you ever have a problem with uh, drugs or anything like that. And I think it's the way, um, from my understanding, some of the stuff I read on it, uh, some drivers will uh, will have a problem in one state and then they will move to another state and get a, a, a lic another license. So it's kind of a way, I think, for companies trying to uh, crack down on people that may be using drugs or something like that. But I know for most of you guys, you don't you don't do that. So it's something that you shouldn't be afraid of. It's something that is simple. As I said, I just did it in a few minutes and I got it done. And I think in in three years it will be to our advantage. So just want just wanted to let you know that it's a simple process in case you are thinking of uh, filling out that information. I think from the message I, I read, um, JB Hunt wants us to do it. But uh, according to the website, you don't have to do it. It's not like a rule. But of course, if your employer needs you to do it, then that becomes a JB Hunt or a company rule. Not, uh, it's not like a required thing. So um, I don't know if, uh, if JB Hunt will enforce it that all drivers have to or if it's just something that they are suggesting that we do. But in my opinion, it's to your advantage as a driver to do it uh, just in case you ever need uh, to move uh, from one company to another. It's, uh, it's a way to speed up your application process. If you decide to come to JB Hunt, if you already have it, all that JB Hunt does is just goes to, they just go to the system and find out your information. So it's to your advantage anyway. I just wanted to let you know about that. Until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.